Thank you. All right, let's see. All right, Xavier, your first question will be from Travis Hines of the Ames Tribune. Travis, go ahead. Hey, man, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. What was DJ and the staff's, I guess, to you of what your role is going to be and, and why you should stay with Iowa State even through a new coaching uh, regime than you committed to originally? Um, the role that they kind of gave me was, you know, uh, the big who can kind of still say, you know, uh, being in the middle of everything, uh, they've been telling me that I, I haven't been able to run the plays or anything yet. So they've been telling me about how they want to use me. Back. But uh, really, one of the things that made me stay was just the relationship that I had with the players here. You know, it, it hurt to see some of them go, uh, you know, like Ron, and and Dud, and Stone. But uh, the, player, the relationship that I have with the players already was great. And, you know, I love to hear so. How is your health right now? My health right now, I actually just been talking to my trainer. And before my surgery, they said that my foot was at right around 80%, and it probably wouldn't get much better. And I just went and talked to him about the x rays in my foot. And the doctor said that my foot was 100% healed. And now we're just trying to slowly transition to uh, on, on land running and working out on the court. All right, thanks, man. Our next question will be from Randy Peterson, the Des Moines Register. Randy, go ahead. X, tell me the, the background of, of that injury. It happened in high school, right? Yes, it was a high school injury. Uh, I had the surgery before my senior year. Uh, I played through it my senior year. You know, still some nicks hurt a little bit. And then I got here and got... The first, like the first three, four practices, you know, I was like, my foot's starting to bug me a little bit. And then we just started to get the x-rays and stuff. And it wasn't looking good. What kind of pressure comes with being um, a four-star, five-star, whatever you are? I don't pay much attention to the stars. But being, being, that, being that guy from the state of Iowa at a state of Iowa school, what kind of pressure is there with, that goes along with that? Uh, to be honest, when I first came in, it was it was a lot of pressure. You know, I was supposed to show up, be that kid, be one and done. And as time kind of passed along, went through, like, you know, we're here now. And I realized that the stars really don't mean anything, you know. Like, we're all here doing the same thing. The goal is the same, to put the ball in the hole more than the other team. And now it's just about uh, how well I can perfect my crafts, you know. What's your relationship with George? <clears throat> Excuse me. George, George pushed me every day. You know, hey, we were in the weight room doing pull-ups. He saw my feet were touching the ground. He's like, all right, come on. I'm not going to let you cheat yourself, you know? So that kid's all, he's always pushing me. Uh, it's a love relationship. It's all love. All right, cool. Thanks. Sure. Our next question will be from Scott Reister of KCCI. Go ahead, Scott. Hey, Xavier, how's it going, man? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, so I know it last year obviously was frustrating for you. Um, you know, imagining yourself healthy next season running up and down the court, how much different will that Xavier Foster be in your mind and what you're expecting out of yourself than what we saw the first part of last season? Uh, in my mind, it'll be, it'll be different. You know, I won't just be – a big, you know, I'm, we're trying to develop while we're out, you know, so we, we don't have anything to do but work. So the goal is really to be like a combo big, you know, being able to push the ball when I have an open lane, being able to shoot the ball when I have an open shot, you know, developing. So in terms of your just speed and explosiveness, um, what's, uh, how, how much growth will we see, do you think, out of yourself now that you've got two working feet? Um, you know, I talked to my parents about this actually, and we were thinking that one of the things they noticed is I wasn't aggressive to go, you know, chase down blocks and stuff, you know. So that's something I'm I'm trying to work back to is being a great defender around the rim and uh, just being quick with my feet, you know, feeling comfortable using them. 
And in terms of, uh, I know earlier you just you just mentioned uh, where you are in your recovery. Do you expect to be, you know, 100%, you know, here when the practices start going full? Um, yeah, I will be in Ames uh, working out all, over the summer. So I am thinking that I will be 100%. All right. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Our next question will be from John Walters of Cyclones TV. Go ahead, John. Hey, Xavier. Um, Trey mentioned that he really noticed a renewed energy uh, in the workouts and things that you guys are doing on a daily basis. Have you noticed that too? And if so, uh, just kind of describe for us what you're seeing. Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry, I did not hear that. Sure. Yeah, Trey mentioned that he's kind of seeing a renewed energy in everything you guys are doing on a daily basis. Are you seeing that too? And if so, just kind of describe for us what you're seeing. I am for sure seeing that, you know, uh, everybody's in the weight room screaming, yelling, you know, having a good time. And then uh, after, or actually before that, we'll be on the court. Uh, they'll have shooting workouts, you know, everything's a competition. Uh, like everybody's battling, everybody's getting better. It's just it's awesome to see. Our next question will be from Mark Freund of WHO. Go ahead, Mark. Hey, Xavier, um, when you have a group of guys coming in that, you know, it's going to be really a, a, almost an entirely brand new team, what are the challenges that kind of come along with building chemistry as you, you know, kind of go from now till the start of the season when it's a, a bunch of guys that have never played on the same team before? I think the challenges really start now and when they get on campus, you know, like building the relationships early, not wait, like, not waiting until we got to, like, we're all in practice and we're, like, getting to know each other. Like, we got to be a tight group, like a little family outside the court, too. I think that's where it really starts. All right. That's all we have for you, Xavier. Thanks for your time. Thank you.